with all these disturbing pictures of a fetus in a woman's womb. Times and issues change, but these people are still standing there because they want to show that they strongly oppose any form of abortion. Since then, the topic of abortion was something out of my own reality until the November of 2018, when the Ministry of Health decided and suggested a number of changes to the health code of the nation. Among these was a suggestion to, to allow teenagers of 16 years old and older to receive medical treatment and medical consultations, including abortion without parental guidance and assistance. As you can imagine, since that time, people in Kazakhstan, especially in social media, divided into two parts. Those who strongly oppose it and those who strongly support it. Well, Madam Toastmaster, dear visitors, dear guests and members of ATC who care about our future generation, today I will touch a very delicate subject, a teenage abortion. And I want to say that I strongly support this new suggestion of allowing t uh, teenagers of age 16 and older to receive medical consultations and treatment, uh, including abortion, without parental assistance. And I will explain you why. Well, let me start with the alarming statistics. As you can imagine, these numbers of uh, teenage abortion or teenage pregnancy vary in our country and it's hard to collect and to have the exact number for them. But the Ministry of Health still has some numbers, some approximate number, which is about or more than 6,000 teenagers nowadays get pregnant. And one out of three of such girls decide to get an abortion. Well, I believe that these people are the lucky one or the I would say the happy one because they live in a supportive environment because they can share this information with anyone. But we live in a society where it is, it is not accepted to get pregnant or to even have sex at this early age. And that's why many girls nowadays, they try to get rid of this unborn baby the most uncivil and harmful way. So these stories can be so, um, so hard to listen to because these girls will not only start to have this emotional trauma for the rest of their life, but also may not be able to get pregnant again in their future. So the main opposition to this uh, statement, to this uh, suggestion, is that a 16 years old girl is uh, not old enough, is still a baby, a child, who cannot take and who cannot make this kind of decision all by herself. But I believe that if this is the only reason why people and why you uh, will oppose this suggestion, then I would suggest you to get armed early. Make sure your child, your little princess, knows beforehand that they can trust you. They can, they can share any kind of information with you and they will not be judged for this. This, uh, this uh, situation is so bad that it has been even portrayed in the by the drama theater called Artishok in the drama called Uyat, Shame. It tells the story of a 17 years old girl who died because of her miscarriage and whose parents tried to cover up this story by telling that it was, her death was because of uh, a heart disease. Well, this suggestion 
I would, I would like to say that this suggestion also applies and impacts not only girls, but also boys. Because this suggestion is talking not only about medical treatment, but also about medical consultations. So one doctor from Kazakhstan, he shared the story from his practice. He said that uh, a guy, a 17 years old boy, visited the doctor with the severe symptoms of gonorrhea. But the doctor had to deny the treatment and even the consultation without parental approval. And this boy was left, he, he left this office and he didn't tell his parents because he was ashamed to even confess to his parents that he even had sex uh, rather than even and you can imagine how hard it was for him to confess that he has this venereal disease and the statistic is also very bad in this matter 60 out of 1000 teenagers nowadays suffer from uh, syphilis or from gonorrhea and these diseases can be cured on the early stage, but because this boy left the doctor, the office, the doctors, uh, the doctor, and didn't get the treatment, this disease transformed into chronic disease, chronic stage. So we all want to live in a perfect society. But this is the harsh reality is this. I hope that after today's discussion and after today's uh, speech, you will, even if you haven't heard of this uh, suggestion before, you will now have enough information to have your own opinion. Because of the public criticism of this suggestion, this suggestion has been dropped by the Minister of Health, but I believe it has a chance for another discussion. And I, th and I hope that when this discussion and this suggestion will be raised again, you will have enough courage and enough information to uh, raise and to have your opinion about this case. Thank you. Yes. And now let's turn to questions and answers. <coughs> Two, three how, minutes. How many, how many stories do you know? How many stories? Yeah. There, uh, you know, it's, uh, it's very hard to collect or to gather information about these kind of stories. Uh, but uh, this is what you usually try to keep in your house. You don't really spread this kind of information with other people. But uh, those that I could find are, I don't know, like, for example, have you heard any stories of crying babies left near a toilet or near the trash bins? This is some stories that we all hear. And these stories can be, could be, maybe avoided uh, because of this uh, suggestion. Implementation. Mm -hmm. What do you think that uh, on the topic that early marriages, like at 16 years old, are generally prohibited, and you need a parent's um, a parent's Approved. permission to marry someone if you're at 16, but you don't have to have any permission if you want to make an abortion. So, uh, isn't it contradictory a bit? Well. Uh, to, thank you for the question. So today, I'm not really aware of this uh, situation about the uh, permission to get married, but uh, let me say you that we uh, receive our state ID at the age, starting from age of 16. Don't you think that we should be allowed to receive at least medical consultation uh, starting from the age 16? Uh, without parental assistance and guidance, because uh, these doctors and this uh, the Minister of Health, they the main thing that they want to to do is to allow these kids to even have this conversation of a, um, about some experience, maybe sexual experience, or to have some checkups uh, 
to make sure that they don't have any kind of disease beforehand. I'm not really aware of this as well, uh, but I believe that uh, the right now uh, it's this. Uh, I'm not really sure if it applies and if you can ask this kind of information there. But uh, uh, soon you will be able to call 911, and maybe uh, they might help you with uh, if you have any. I don't know, for example, suicidal uh, ideas or uh, any kind of, like, you need any kind of consult medical consultation. Do you want to add something? Uh, yeah, I just want to answer uh, one of the use cases right now in the afternoon is uh, maternal uh, centers for pressure. They can provide assistance for young uh, mommies who is going to be uh, you know, doing the babies uh, without the consent of their parents. So there is a system of being uh, not aware of uh, that's a, perhaps the problem of our healthcare system as well because many people are not aware that there is something that's going on. The NGOs are working on that as well. That's, uh, I mean, that, that, that there are still opportunities for us to improve in this case, yes. Mm -hmm. and, and, for the check for the note and for this, uh -huh. I'm sorry, you time, support it? Yeah, time this is up. Because it's, yes, it's a great idea that you have a right to, I mean, marry at 16, but you don't have a right to go and have a check without permission of your parents. Mm 